Lerner Chance has just moved to a new town. She's in sixth grade and having some trouble making friends. There's a club at the school called the Ampo Club, and Lerner's not sure she wants to be in it. But she's not an Ampo, she'll be labeled as a slug, and no one wants to be a slug. You better do the stare, or else you're going to be a slug. I really want to be in the Ampo Club, but if I do the stare, I could get into some serious trouble. Bobby might get in trouble too. Too bad. Do the dare consider yourself a slimy S-L-U-G slug. What are you and Helmet Hill talking about? None of your business, slug. Helmet you has a lot to think about. She looks out the window as she contemplates or thinks about doing the dare and sees something crawl and press the newspaper. I really don't want to do the stare. It can really get Bobby in trouble. A worm! Hey, what is that? Nothing. Ugh. The worm stops inching on the worm's thumbtack and starts feeding. Where did the word thumbtacks go? Werner was about to be in the shop of his lifetime. Little does she know the worm's name is Fip and he has very special powers. <laughs> Wait, what happened to all the thumbtacks? Werner just became the luckiest kid in the world. Fip, the worm, has the power to eat a word and that word simply disappears from the world forever. What will Lerner eliminate? Will destroying a word cause horrible problems? Will Lerner do the dare to become an empo? Read the word eater by Mary Amato to find out.